I'm Naomi and today I'm going to be planting some Cyclamen hedrophyllum. Cyclamen hedrophyllum are hardy perennial bulbs and they flower in autumn which is really lovely because just as everything else in the garden is starting to die down a bit suddenly you get this lovely fresh burst of colour from these dainty little nodding pink blooms above a nice little patch of green lush foliage which has some, um, some pretty silver markings on as well so they're really lovely for that and they're perfect for growing in a dappled shade area such as a shrubbery or under a tree a woodland area or if you have a, a ferny sort of corner of the garden you can uh, tuck them in between the ferns there they're just like a, a nice cool position uh, and they're not fussy about soil type either as long as it's not too damp all through the year they like um, they like it to be well drained but they can do quite well in in quite a dry soil as well so that's ideal for planting sort of under a tree where it is typically very dry and they do look nice next to sort of a tree stump or just tucked beneath shrubs just to bring a bit of colour to the garden in the autumn months and they're extremely easy to grow which is the best thing uh, you simply get these bulbs in the ground in early autumn and then in the first year they should do something they should have some nice leaves and some pretty flowers on in the first year and then um, after that they really require very well hardly any work at all you just leave them to it all through the year they'll go dormant in the summer and then the following autumn they'll um, they'll just flower again of their own accord and without you having to do anything at all so it's one of those that you, it's a good investment you put them in leave them to it and every year they'll just come back and have a lovely pretty display for you so um, I do recommend uh, planting these and this is what the um, this is what the bulbs look like, they're tubers uh, really, and these are top size, so they're very big. And as you can see, they're kind of a flattish shape, so this is a, this is a big sort of round tuber, it's kind of flat. And um, this one has already got some little flowers growing out of the top. Um, when you get them in the autumn, they may have already started to grow, which is a great sign. Uh, sometimes they don't have any growth on at all, but they usually do have a couple of small shoots. They all look different when they arrive, but they all do the same thing eventually. So it doesn't matter if yours arrive and they've got some shoots, or if they haven't. It's just, um, it's just, the, way, it's just the way they start to grow uh, individually. Some um, are faster than others. Um, so the way to plant them is this, um, the ones that have clearly got shoots on the top, those are planted uh, with, the uh, with the shoots facing upwards, that's very obvious. Um, when you get one that's a bit more like this, with very, it's hard to see really which are the shoots on the top and which are the roots on the bottom. So um, a, a, good, a good way, you can usually just about see some little pink, they're kind of pinkish coloured shoots and they may be very very tiny but they're soft. And those are the shoots that should be on the top. And on the underside, you've usually got some sort of wiry, coarse brown roots. And that's, uh, that's the side that you plant facing downwards. Now, these are quite a natural bulb, so just plant them in a sort of natural position, dotted around between shrubs or at sort of uneven spacings. Or you can plant them in a nice little um, irregular group. I'm going to plant them. Um, I'm going to plant three in this little space here between these uh, shrubs and it'll be nice to have the little individual dots of colour. Um, so I'll plant the first one. Uh, you plant them about five centimetres deep so really quite shallow. Um, dig over the soil first so it's nice and loose and they don't have to work too hard to get their roots down. Just make quite a nice wide hole about five centimetres deep. There we go, and I'm just going to position my tuber in there. There we go, with the shoots facing upwards, and then very carefully just cover it over with the soil. Now, if the uh, if they're in a very dry spot under a tree where it's typically always very dry, you might want to give them a good watering um, throughout the first autumn, just so that they can put their roots down. Um, but if, if it's uh, less of a dry area, don't water them too much because they, they, don't, they don't need it uh, very much. It's just if you're planting them in, in late summer or early autumn and it's warm and the soil's dry as well, it's a good idea to just give them a helping hand and, and water them in um, and maybe water them whenever the soil looks bone dry around them and that will just help them to uh, establish. 
I planted my first one very shallowly. It's just um, it's planted about five centimetres deep, and the, and the tuber itself is about three centimetres deep. So really, it's only about two centimetres below the soil surface. Um, and I'll just put my uh, I'll just put my other two tubers in as well. As I mentioned before, they're fully hardy, so you don't need to worry about winter frost protection or anything like that. They really are very low maintenance. All you need to do is plant them, water them if it's extremely dry in the first year, but don't need to worry after that once they're established. And, uh, and just leave them to it. They're going to be one of those hidden gems that you see in the autumn and you forgot about all year round. So that's my three bulbs planted. I'm going to water them in, give them a good soak, and then, uh, and then they'll be quite happy there. to their pretty flowers probably in a couple of months time. Now thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoy growing your own sick comment.